Hey everyone, it's the only Anyango. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, like and subscribe and stay tuned for more natural hair videos in the future. So I'm just showing you up close personal view of my hair. Um, I haven't washed it in or combed it in three weeks since my last wash day. It's matted, it's tangled, and it's just dry. I wore it in a puff most of the time. And in this video, it looks stretched out because I tried to stretch it out with some hair bands before detangling. Oh my gosh, look at my ends. They're so dry and matted, but yeah, I stretched it out a little bit with hair bands just to make it a little bit easier. To begin my detangling process, I sectioned out one section that I'm going to work with and tied the rest away so it could stay out of my way. Now this is me examining my hair and oh my gosh, woo wee, look at that. Like this is the first time I actually saw how matted it was and I was shook like this is only like three and a half weeks worth of tangling and i don't know what happened this time i guess because i wore in a shrunken state most of the time that's why i got like this but no worries i'm going to get this through and everything will be all right i start by dampening my hair with water this is just plain water in a pink travel size bottle that i got like at target After dampening my hair with water, I start lightly finger detangling, removing shed hairs. Look at that shed hair. Um, yeah, so I'm lightly finger detangling, just working the water through each strands, especially the roots because that's the most matted at this point. So yeah, I'm just working the water through and lightly finger detangling. Water alone is not enough to complete this detangling process, so I, I grabbed this cheap suave conditioner that provides slip. Um, it provides slip so that you can get through the tangles and the matted parts of your hair without experiencing too much breakage or no breakage at all. Once the conditioner is saturated in my hair, I begin my finger detangling process. It's very important to be patient and thorough even when you're just using your fingers only. After I feel like I've finger detangled enough, I grab my wide tooth comb and I start combing from the bottom and working my way up gently. And as you can see, I split the one section into three pieces and that is to reduce breakage and to thoroughly comb each and every tangle out without um, experiencing breakage and making sure all the shed hairs get out. And at this point, I had already um, detangled every section. So I was able to glide the comb through the whole entire section. And as you can see, it was doing well. And so it's all the shedding that I experienced in that one section, which I don't think is bad at all for me, especially. Now, as you can see, look at my hair now compared to how it was when I first started. Uh, it has more definition, the matting and tangles are out, and it looks good. So I just twist that section and put it away and move on to the next. This is the other side of the back part of my hair, and it's the same as the last section. Tangled, matted, and just looking a mess. So I'm just sort of like admiring how matted it is right now. I'm trying to see the beauty in the work and labor that I'm about to do. So let me just try to find the light in this, but yeah, here are the knots and everything. Same thing I did in the last section. I start by spraying water all over it to dampen it and lightly finger detangle. Same thing as last time, I add my conditioner and get to work with finger detangling and comb detangling.
Now it's time to work on the crown of my head. I section off the crown of my head separate from the rest of my hair and the reason is the crown is the most prone to breakage which is why I have to put so much emphasis on it. The crown is the part that has the most problems, the most breakage, it grows the slowest and my scalp is usually the itchiest in this part of my head whenever it is itchy. So with the crown, I make sure to be extra gentle and be extra cautious and be very gentle and have a lot of patience with this area. On a side note, look at my nephew video bombing me. I'm doing my hair. What? So I apply condition all over the crown of my hair and I begin finger detangling. And I am being very gentle. I watched this back and I thought, ooh, I kind of don't look like I'm being gentle, but I promise you guys, I'm being very gentle and I'm being patient. I don't want breakage, I want length retentions, okay? So I am not being rough and I'm taking my time. At this point, I had already um, detangled the crown in little pieces, and that's why you see that I'm detangling the whole section at once, but it's already been detangled in smaller sections. I'm just feeling myself a little bit with these detangled twists, okay? <laughs> now, this is the front of my hair. The front of my hair was not matted at all. Like, the front of my hair is usually the softest. It's less prone to tangles and is the section of my hair that gives me the least problems, which is why I barely even had to do anything to comb it and detangle it. And voila, here's a look at my hair after I've detangled everything. And this is all the shedding I received from that matted mess of three and a half weeks of no combing. I think this is not bad at all. And here's a quick lane check. I'm currently like mid upper back and the back section of my hair. And here's a front view of the juicy detangle twist again, feeling cute. But anyways guys, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and stay tuned for more natural hair videos like this in the future. Bye.